Oh, hey guys. Alright guys, so uh, welcome to the video. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a day of eating. I figure it was a good day to do this. I have no class today because it is a Friday schedule on a Wednesday. I have no classes on Friday, so I have no class today. Also don't have work. It's an off day from the gym. And I'm also deloading, so I figure what else to do but film a day of eating. A lot of people have been asking for it, so I figured I haven't done one in a while. And I'll take you guys through the day of what I eat. And I'm also going to take care of some errands, like, uh, like an oil change and such. Um, so as you can see from the first thing, we got some uh, universal casein and universal whey. What I started doing on the first meal, my off days from the gym, since I'm really hungry later on in the day, but I'm not too hungry in the morning, I just, all I have is a protein shake, so I take like 15 grams of each uh, for a total of 30 grams, and I just drink that, and right now it's, uh, it's 8.23 in the morning, I'm not going to have my first like actual meal till like 12.15, so I'm going to drink this, uh, I have an oil change appointment at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to go do that. And throughout the video, as I eat, I'll share some tips with you guys, answer some common questions that I get. So hopefully you guys will get some meal ideas. We're going to make the poverty brownie later. Um, some other things I haven't done in other videos. Hopefully you get some ideas, and I can answer some of the questions that you might have as well. So I'm going to drink this first shake, and then i got to go get dressed and go get an oil change. Alright, so like I said, nothing crazy for the first meal. Gotta rep the universal cup with the universal shirt. With the universal way. But anyway, so nothing special for the first meal. It's just, if you're asking yourself why I'm having both whey and casein together, is it because slow absorption, fast absorption? No, it's just because casein is a little bit thicker. And I like mixing it together. For the taste and the consistency, the whey is too thin, casein is too thick, put it together, you have a nice consistency. Um, the casein is the double, I believe it's chocolate milkshake, and the whey is double chocolate chip. Those are my favorite flavors from Universal, they're both pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mix this up. As far as my macros for today, they are 225 grams of protein, 200 carbs, and 120, no, 115 grams of fat. These are my off day macros. One of the things I'll discuss a little bit later on is different macros on off days and training days. I'll get into that in a bit, but my macros are slightly different on my off days and I'll get into that later. So anyway, I'm running late for my oil change. Let me drink this so you know that I actually drink it. I don't ever drink protein shakes from the nozzle, by the way. I always drink it like this for some reason. I just, I've always done that. And if you want to call this meal one, that's meal one, and I'll see you in the next meal. So I just got back from my oil change, and look what was outside. Can you tell what it is by the keep frozen? If you haven't figured it out, I'm going to open it up. All right, guys, if you haven't figured out what this is, Halo Top sent me their new flavors. I apologize. I thought this video was not going to have any Halo Top in it. I knew they were sending it to me. It just happens to be on the day I'm filming this day of eating. So I figured I'll just open it quickly and just show you the new flavors because I am excited about it. And it is funny because you guys always say that I have Halo Top in this video. And I will not be having Halo Top in this video, just so you know. But I'll at least show you the new flavors, so this is exciting. Looks like they have a green tea, rainbow swirl, pancake and waffles, cinnamon roll, chocolate covered banana, caramel macchiato, and the two that I'm most excited about are the candy bar and the pumpkin pie. So it always comes in this like uh, let me lift it out. Comes in, comes in here, if you can see it, with dry ice. Uh, so we got rainbow swirl, we got caramel macchiato, Pumpkin pie, excited about that one. Another pumpkin pie. I realize there's more than one of some of these. Oh, there's three pumpkin pies. Interesting. So another pumpkin pie. Hope it's good. Candy bar. This one sounds amazing, candy bar. Can't wait to try that. And then we got 
pancakes and waffles. I have no idea what that's going to taste like, but it sounds interesting. Chocolate covered banana, that should be a good one. Green tea, ooh, it's freezing. I don't know how I feel about green tea, but we'll try it. And last but not least, cinnamon roll, that should be good as well. So, oof, these are freezing, the dry ice does a good job. So sorry, I just wanted to show you guys those. I'll definitely be trying those, not in this video, but in the future videos, so you guys can complain that I have Halo Top in every video, but don't blame me, blame Halo Top for sending me all this. And it's about 11.17 right now. I got back from an oil change, we'll eat in about an hour. And I'll show you guys that meal. Alright guys, so this is the first actual kind of meal of the day. It's a little after 12 o'clock. Like I said, I'm not the hungry in the morning. I get hungry as the day goes on. So you'll see this is a bigger meal and then I have my biggest meal later in the day. So as you saw, we have uh, six whole eggs and then we got some tomatoes, spinach, and low fat cheese mixed in the eggs. And then this is some like low calorie bread, 40 calories a slice. Uh, I, put the, I put it on top and I eat it. If you saw all my other day of eating videos, I have this meal mostly in all the videos. Because I like it and probably you're thinking, six eggs, isn't that like bad for your cholesterol? I've had a lot of eggs for a, lot of, for a long time and I've never had any cholesterol issues. I don't believe that eating eggs really impacts your cholesterol. I think eating really saturated fat does that. But if you don't want to believe me, you don't want to trust me, just don't eat eggs. It's as simple as that. Just take it for what it's worth. I've been eating eggs for a long time. My cholesterol is actually pretty low. Um, also have a black coffee. So what I wanted to discuss in the first meal is people ask me all the time if their macro should be different on off days as it is from gym days. And I did say in the beginning of the video that this is an off day and my macros are going to be different in this meal or this day than they are on my gym days. But let me just uh, say that my goals are different than most of your goals. My goals are really just to maintain my physique while having good performance in the gym. So what I found was that when I was having the same amount of carbs on off days and gym days, I started to spill over a bit and I didn't look as lean and I was looking a little bit watery. So I found that by having higher carbs on, day, on days I go to the gym, my gym performance is good. But by replacing some of the carbs with more fat and more protein on my off days, it keeps down the bloat and I look a little bit leaner. And it hasn't really affected gym performance. So I mean, in, in terms of overall calories, they're about the same on off days and gym days. They're a little bit lower on off days. But really it's the switch from more fat, more protein on off days and less carbs. Like I said, I don't recommend doing that. What's the saying? Do as I say, not as I do. I don't recommend doing that for most of you guys. For most of you guys, if you're, if you're bulking, I definitely recommend just keeping the same calories every day. If you're cutting, same thing, unless you want to try out some carb cycling, that would be the only thing that maybe you do differently. But like I said, my macros are different. I have weird goals compared to a lot of you. So don't do what I'm saying. I mean, don't do what I'm doing. Do what I'm saying. Keep your macros the same each day. Uh, so that was a lot of talking. Uh, like I said, I have this meal a lot. Um, there's nothing magical about this meal. It just tastes good. So if you haven't seen these videos yet, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is I take some of the eggs and some of the, I take a piece of bread and I just put it on top like that. And then I eat it. And it's pretty simple. So since this is an off day, my fat and protein is higher. I'm having six whole eggs. Days I go to the gym, my fat's lower. I, ha I mix uh, some egg whites with the whole eggs. So that's just one little change. Uh, so yeah, eggs, I don't believe they're so bad for your cholesterol. Don't eat them if you think they are. Simple as that. Also got this black coffee. I think it tastes better when you put it in one of these cups instead of a mug. So that's what I do. Um, I'm going to eat this now. And I'll see you in the next meal, which I believe will include a poverty brownie. Alright guys, so for the next meal, what we got is the poverty brownie. We got my favorite protein bar, these Quest Hero Bars. Every flavor is amazing. This one is the vanilla caramel. Excellent. And then we just have 30 grams of almonds. And I already made the Poverty Brownie, obviously. It's very simple to make. All you use is some Hershey Cocoa. I use some whey protein and casein protein here. And then you gotta use some baking powder. 
mix it all together with some water. So I'm personally using right now 25 grams of each casein anyway. Um, you could vary that depending on the macros that you have available for the day. Uh, the reason I like whey and casein together, similar to why I drank it together in the morning, is because the casein and the whey it makes it thicker and it tastes a little bit better that way. So that's the only reason for that. So I like to eat the almonds first, then we eat the brownie, then we eat the bar. I'll show you it all as I, I'll show you the bar when I open it. Um, so you eat the brownie with a spoon. So let's discuss two things in this meal. First, do you have to use protein supplements? The answer is no. If you can get enough protein through diet alone, there's no need to use protein supplements. However, I like them for convenience. And for example, this poverty brownie, this isn't a protein shake, I mean, it's a food. So I kind of use that as a food and for convenience. So can I eat chicken instead? Yeah, but I like this. So I use it for that. I only drink it in the morning just quickly to save time. So you don't need protein supplements. It's more important to hit your protein for the day, but protein supplements these days, they taste good and you could use them to like bake and make snacks like this. So that's what I like to mostly use it for. Another question people ask is how much fiber, why do you need fiber? I personally always get more fiber than I need. Uh, I typically recommend 12 to 15 grams of fiber for every thousand calories that you eat. So if you eat 3000 calories a day, you should get like a maximum of 45 grams of fiber and a minimum of 36 grams of fiber. If you go a little over, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but that's just a rough guideline and you really should need, you need fiber really for like digestion and just overall health. So I always try to get fiber. That's another reason why I really like these bars because not only do they taste good and have a little bit of protein, but these particular ones have 10 grams of fiber. So that always helps. Almonds, these have fiber as well. And I do eat a lot of vegetables, so I never have any problems getting my fiber in. So I'm gonna finish the almonds quickly, then I'll show you me taking a bite of the poverty brownie. And when I finish that, I'll open up the bar and just show you the inside. Because like I said, I highly recommend them. All right, and now as far as the poverty brownie, shout out to Travis S on YouTube for this. It really uh, opened up my eyes. It's very filling for not a lot of macros. Personally, what I started doing recently is after I make it, I put it in the fridge so it's cold when I eat it. So all this is whey, casein, Hershey cocoa, baking soda, water, mix it up, microwave, that's what you get. You could use any flavor, any brand protein you want. I think it works best with chocolate so that the Hershey cocoa chocolate combines with it to make it a richer chocolate. Um, but I'm very happy with this. You can see the consistency. Maybe you can if it won't focus. But it's very cake-like, and when you consider what's in it, baking soda, no calories, Christian cocoa, like five, 10 calories, and then just protein. So you could drink, <coughs> sorry, you could drink your protein and it's gone in two seconds, or you can make it into this, and it's like a little sweet dessert. So I've been doing that recently, love it. I'm gonna eat this quick. I'll show you the inside of the bar when I eat it, and that'll wrap up this meal. All right, I'm just gonna finish up with the Quest Hero Bar. If you haven't had the Hero Bars and you've had the regular Quest Bars, these are a much different consistency. These are much more candy-like, and they don't taste like a protein bar at all. Just try them. That's the inside. I gave them to my parents to try, they love them, so. Quest Hero Bar, the blueberry one's actually my favorite, but the vanilla caramel, it's good too. So that wraps up this meal. I'll see you in the next one, which is the last one and the biggest one. All right guys, so it's time for the last meal of the day. I figured before I actually show you the meal completed and me eating it, I'm gonna show you all the individual ingredients that are gonna go into it. So I will be having a chili lime chicken burger from Trader Joe's. They come in this package. And I will also be having a salmon burger, which I get at BJ's, which you might have seen in my other videos. Uh, it's the Wild Alaskan by World Catch. They come in this, so these two. On top of the salmon burger, I use this chunky reduced gilt guacamole from Trader Joe's. On the side, I will be having 
my new favorite thing which I discovered last week, mashed cauliflower. This stuff literally tastes like mashed potatoes, but the macros for the entire bag are only 28 carbs because it's actually made out of cauliflower. And I guess there's some, uh, some butter and cream, but overall, 8 fat, 28 carbs for the whole bag. And then I always have a big salad. I have this entire bag of romaine lettuce. On top of that, I will be putting on this feta cheese with Mediterranean herbs from Trader Joe's. And we will be using some full fat ranch dressing. Um, not shown here, you'll see is some broccoli, and I'll probably also have like a peanut butter on bread. So I'm gonna whip this all together and I'll talk to you in a bit. So there is the chicken burger with guacamole. I forgot to show these are Martin's potato slider buns. The broccoli, salmon burger, there is the big salad, there is the mashed potatoes, that is cauliflower but it looks just like mashed potatoes, and that is just a piece of bread with peanut butter. So what a lot of you are probably thinking is, that's a lot of food for one meal. Keep in mind that I have like an unlimited appetite, I never really get full. It's always been the case with me, and ever since I started trying to stay lean, it's even more so. So that's why I have the whole salad, this is pretty big. Not a lot of calories, fills me up. Mashed potatoes, this whole thing, not a lot, but it's a lot of volume. We got the broccoli. So, I could eat this, not a problem. You know, I could probably eat more after if I want to. Um, but it's about, it's a little after 8 p.m. right now. This is obviously my biggest meal of the day. On gym days, this meal actually has a lot more carbs. So it leads me to the question, carbs at night, are those a bad thing? And the answer is absolutely not. Eating at night is not a bad thing. Meal timing in general is irrelevant. It does not matter when you eat your calories. If you eat your calories in the morning or at night, as long as it's the same macros for the day, it's not going to make a difference. If you don't believe me, I've been doing this for like years and I'm still very lean. So just because you eat before bed doesn't mean it's stored as fat. It'll be stored as fat if you eat too much over your calories for the day and you eat at night, but the fact that you're eating at night has nothing to do with it. So eat when you're hungry, eat when you want, eat when it fits your schedule, but don't fit your food thinking that you have to eat in the morning or the afternoon or cut off carbs at 6 p.m. That's all a myth, it's a rumor. Don't believe what you hear. It's certainly not true. So my food's getting cold because I'm talking to you guys. I hope you like this video. People have been asking for it. Um, so that's basically all the food that I eat for the day. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And I will see you guys in the next video.